Uh, hello everyone, my name is Lijian and this is my teammate Chen. And our project, ready? Yeah. And our project is called the Aladdin Recommender. So the traditional, traditional ways of content searching requires solid features like titles and genres. And, uh, but some, sometimes people know exactly what, what they want to watch and sometimes they, they only have a vague idea in mind. So we, we build a model that allows people to do movie search, searching in a more flexible way. We start with a uh, database called TMDB5000, which contains around 5,000 samples with features like uh, titles and overviews and genre. And because of the poor representative, representative of overview, we combine it with the uh, storyline we collected from IMDB. Uh, storylines are like expanded version of overview, contains more uh, story details. And, uh, and then we added the, we uh, selected features, other features, and uh, we uh, uh, produced the complete sentence packages. And for, for each uh, complete sentence, we pair it with the uh, positive and negative uh, reviews, uh, respectively, to create uh, the sentence uh, review pairs. Here we have an example uh, for Avatar. So we have the plot and the storyline written in third-person view, and we transform the selected feature into natural language form, and this is what, what our complete sentence package look like. And uh, for each sentence, we pair with the positive reviews of Avatar and the negative reviews. What we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, reduce the distance between the sentence embedding and the positive reviews, and uh, re increase the distance from our, uh, of our embeddings and the negative reviews. So our baseline model used traditional content-based recommender system to suggest similar movies based on the user inputs. And we use TF-IDF score to vectorize. Oh, and we use TF-IDF score to vectorize our model information such as plot, genres, and et cetera, and form the matrix on the right. The recommender will iterate through the matrix and find the topmost similar movies given user inputs using uh, minimization of cosine similarity. Uh, about our model structure, our idea at the very beginning is to minimize the distance between embedding space of given sentence and uh, its reviews. However, we found that learning from both positive and negative movie reviews without uh, clear classification is not what we want. Imagine users use our model to search movies. Uh, they are more likely to input what they like instead of what they dislike. So we decided to distinguish the sentiment of reviews using a sentiment classifier and form pairs of reviews and sentence. Talking, uh, talking about our current model structure, we fine tuning the expert model, a sentence transformer map sentence to a 768 dimensional vector space. And the loss function we are using is online contractive loss, which will minimize the distance between the sentence to positive reviews and the maximum the distance between the sentence to the negative reviews. In this way, our model will be closer to the positive reviews and far away from the negative reviews. So to achieve the recommendation again after fine tuning our model, user, uh, user input queries will be encoded using our model and compared to the embedding space of movies. So the minimization of cosine similarity will be used again here. So we use two metrics, metrics to evaluate our model. The first one is precision at K, which is the fraction of relevant items in the top K recommendations. And the, the other one is called average precision at K, which is calculated based, based on the precision at K, but only averaged out the precision for uh, relevant recommendations. So uh, we, we, ha we use 10 query for testing, and we predict 100 uh, recommendations. The overall precision is 73%, uh, and the top three result precision is 83%. And uh, from the average percentage at, at K a chart, you can see that our model has the ability to, pr uh, to give uh, good recommendation at uh, higher ranks. Uh, and, and actually, here's the data table we, we have for the uh, average precision at K. Uh, our model can, can have like 85% of uh, like average precision at 10 accuracy, and the, we can have the 93% uh, for the average precision at uh, 3. And here we have an interesting result for one of our queries. Uh, the, the, the recommendation has, is not a, like a love story, but it has all the element, elements we have in our query. It's, it's both about like a, a damaged ship and it's, it's both about like, a, it's the, they both talk, talk about like heartbreaking stories. And uh, the only difference is their genre is different. So there is one potential problem about our model, which is handling the long context query, which will, may lead to a concentration bias problem. 
so for example, when we search the time travel movies, the top 10 movies we got include six movies related to the time travel. Uh, however, when we extend the query from the time travel to time travel to see the change of history, most of the return movies are history movies except the first one. Uh, since we both hand labeling the results, Zian marked most of the return results as relevant because he thinks the movie indeed shows a change of history. But for, from my point of view, this movie are mo mostly irrelevant because there are no time travel involved. So even though users are allowed to input anything, they better to input the most important things they want in order to minimize the distraction. Um, based on the previous example and results, we found that people may have different interpretation of the results. To improve our, further improve, uh, improve our model, uh, ideally it will be good if we can assign the flexibility to users to decide which part of the inputs are necessary and which parts are optional. Besides, we can still improve our model by collecting reviews from experts instead of viewers with high subjectivity and importing some summarization model to better generalize our plots and, uh, and storylines. Thank you.